guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Wheels Boutique on YouTube. David Nussbaum here. So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the new vehicle that we purchased. By now, you might have seen already the Aventador SV that we purchased and have completed, but now we're turning our attention to another Italian car. We've got the, let me see if I get the name correct, Ferrari GTC4 Lusso T. So the Gold Rush Rally is coming up. We're gonna be participating in it. We are one of the sponsors for the, for the event. So a big shout out to everybody that has been responsible for putting that together on this crazy year. This car, I told Ben, hey, let's get something that's a little bit more comfortable than maybe the Aventador SV that we would be riding in. And also, uh, Ben gets pretty annoying sometimes. So I said, I want something with four seats. That way we can have a couple friends in and join us on different legs of the rally. And that way Ben and I don't kill each other. So we decided on the GTC4 Lusso instead of something like a Urus and things like that. Because I think last year, the year before that, we had already done that car. But this one's going to be very, very cool. So it took us uh, probably a couple of weeks to find the right one for us. We wanted to have various things like the display for the passenger, um, the steering wheel that has all the LED lighting for shifting gears and things like that. We were not settled on V12 versus the V8 uh, turbo, but we landed on this one, which is in fact the turbo version. So it's not gonna have the great V12 sound. However, we are gonna make it faster than the V12 by a simple tune. That tune by itself, since this is forced induction, is gonna get anywhere from 100 to 200 extra horsepower. So I'm really um, looking forward to that. I've already driven the car in stock form. It's extremely, extremely comfortable. I don't know, I, I, I don't think there's another Ferrari that I would prefer, to be honest. I uh, like to be in comfort, so this thing is super comfortable. It has seats for four, as I mentioned. You've got the hatchback. The only thing it doesn't have for it is the looks. You know, obviously you would want a 488 or an FA Tributo pulling up to uh, to showcase that you have a Ferrari. But you know, if if looks aren't all that important to you, I think that this is hands down probably the Ferrari that I would pick out for my personal taste as well. So. I already mentioned that we're gonna be doing an exhaust which is already laid out in the front, so let's go take a look at some of those pieces. So what we have here is the IPE stainless steel full exhaust for the Lusso. Now, if you see the badging here, it says product number two. So that means that somebody beat us to the punch. However, I've not seen any videos of it just yet. So hopefully we'll be the first to have actually have it installed on the car. This is gonna be uh, one half of the muffler portion. That other half will be on the other side, of course. You've got the valves here, which is controlled through the Manatino steering controls. That is a very cool thing to have. Then you have the X pipe, which is the middle pipe portion of it. So these at one end will connect to the mufflers. And then on this front end, it's gonna be the high flow cats. So with those high flow cats, less restrictive than the factory cats, which is gonna allow the engine to breathe better. You'll get more turbo spools and a lot more power gains, especially after we do that tune that I mentioned. Then in this box over here, we have the Novatech Sport Springs. So said it many, many times on the channel before, the Novatech Springs make it ride better, lower the ride height, and on some cars they're adjustable. On this one, I'm not sure if they are or not, but if they are, you know, you sure as hell bet that we are going to um, WB slam it, as a lot of people like to say, so it's gonna be very, very low. Again, different ride heights for different folks. Some people like it just marginally lower, but we like to have it very, very low. We don't mind a little bit of a, of a bumpy ride, so to speak, um, to get the look that we want, and then just put it right back up once we're done with the rally and do it for use it for daily driving. So finally, the last thing I believe that we are left to discuss are the wheels that we're putting on for the car. So let's go check those out. So this beautiful piece of art is of course, none other than the Anarchy S1 X3. So lightweight monoblock wheel. We like to do the big sizes, which is 21 inch for the front and 22 inch for the rear. This is probably a 22 by 13, if it's not a 22 by 12 and a half. That way we can use a 335, 25, 22 Michelin Pilot Sport 4S. Believe it or not, this huge wheel entire combination fits perfectly on the GTC4 Lusso. I love the wheel choice that Ben did. He did not consult with me on the wheel choice. He wanted to go with um, something that 
kind of would work on a Ferrari, but it's way more advanced in the sense of traditional Ferraris have a, have a straight five spoke and more recently they've been having some twists on their five spokes like they do with the A12 super fast factory wheels. This also has a twist to it. This is the two-tone finish that a lot of people are loving that we're doing. You've got brushed for the face and then you've got polish for the windows, the surface area in between each spoke. You've got the Anarchy carbon cap that was new for 2020, and then it has the bezel as well, which you can do in any color you want. We decided to go with a red because it's gonna match the red calipers of the car. So I absolutely love this thing. I think that uh, the more I look at it, the more <laughs> I fall in love with it. So we already have Robert has installed the TPMS air sensor right there. And once he mounts this tire, they're gonna look like these beautiful things. So I'm very, very looking forward to that and seeing what it looks like on the car. Um, I think it's gonna look extremely sharp. We're gonna do a little bit of a wrap on the car as well. We're undecided of what we're gonna do. As you know, on the Gold Rush Rally, a lot of people do wild and crazy wraps. We're probably gonna just put a logo on it, maybe uh, something a little cute for uh, for the times as well so that people can remember the car, but, uh, but that's still undecided as I mentioned. So basically gone over everything and now all that's left is to continue watching and see what it looks like after it's all done. So I'm really, really happy about this one. We've got the Shark Torpedo Shooting Brake Lusso GTC4 T, whatever you want to call it. It looks freaking amazing. I'm extremely, extremely impressed with what we did on this. You know the drill. Springs, exhaust, wheels, tune, the whole nine. This is our car for the rally, as I mentioned a little bit earlier in the video. The only thing that's left is for us to unveil the wrap that we'll be doing for it for the gold rush rally but everything else is already done we did a little bit it took us a couple days to get the ride height correct we wanted to make sure that the front was proportionate to the rear 
and we did that with the Novatech springs. Again, they're adjustable. You can just twist them. If it's too low, too high, this can actually go even lower than what it is now. It can go even higher than what it is now. So that's a really, really cool, neat trick for those that want um, the adjustable suspension for any Ferrari. Novatech offers it for many, many different Ferrari models. Moving over to the wheels, hands down my favorite probably from Anarchy's new uh, SX series. This is the S1 X3. It's a monoblock wheel, it's a lightweight wheel. It's available in 20 inch sizing, 21, 22, down the road probably 23s and 24s. This has a 21 by nine and a half in the front and a 22 by 12 and a half in the rear. So the Michelin's Pilot Sport 4S in the front, let's see what we have here. I know what the rear is. The rear, 335, 25, 22, all day. So 335 section. On this front, we have a 255, 30, 21. We have the two-tone finish. We also have the Anarchy Carbon center cap, and we did the polished red bezel, just so that it can match the calipers. And then, not to be outdone, we also did the IP exhaust. So this version is the twin turbo V8. We did high flow cats. We did the mid midsection, also known as the X pipes, and we did the muffler. Everything is Valvetronic, so whenever we want it quiet, we keep it shut. Whenever we want it loud, we open up the valves through the controller, through the Manatino controls, and you can get uh, the party rocking and rolling, as they say. Also, the interior, very, very picky with our interior choice. We wanted to make sure that if it didn't have the glass roof, it had a pretty cool interior, and we did, we found just that. So seat for four, more friends, more fun. Carbon fiber steering wheel with the LED lighting on the top, the passenger display so that they can see uh, the illegal activities that the driver is doing and how fast they're going, the RPM range. So this thing came out out of control. I freaking love it so much. A lot of people won't like the hatchback. A lot of people don't like shooting brakes. I am not one of those people. I love quirky things. The quirkier the better. I think that this is the quirkiest Ferrari that they make. I don't know why anybody would buy anything else. If you have the money for one Ferrari, might as well get two because this one is probably the most comfortable one that I've been in. It's uh, got seats for four, which no other one has to my knowledge. And you get you got a Ferrari, man. You got a Ferrari. You can't beat it. So let me get inside because that's thunder and that's a Miami freaking cloud of summer and i want to do some revs do a takeoff and you guys can make the decision on if you like this v8 twin turbo or not forgot to mention the DME tune so this is putting out about uh, 700 horsepower and about roughly a little bit over 600 foot-pounds of torque maybe 650 and so this gives, gets rid of a lot of the turbo lag that the car came with at first I'm gonna take it out for a spin and see what this actually feels like seatbelt safety first it's the law click your ticket in Florida let's see how this goes Uh, big shout out to all the partners for this build IPE, DME, Novatech, Anarchy, Michelin. We love this car, the Ferrari GTC4 Lusso T. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with Ben on the Gold Rush Rally. If you're headed to the rally, please give us a shout. We would love to chat with you guys about cars, about uh, life, about the event. Really fun uh, to meet some new people there and share stories with a lot of the people that share the things that we have in common, which is our love and passion for cars. So let us know if you're going to Gold Rush, subscribe to the channel, leave us some comments, leave us some funny comments. A couple videos ago, somebody said I was about 5'5". So, that's news to me. Shout out to everybody making funny comments. I love the interaction with all you guys. Leave a funny comment, comment of the day, next video. We're gonna have it, we're gonna have your name on there. So think about something very clever.
or else I'm going to be very upset. See you guys next time.